Welcome to this guide on your personal reflections. It's interesting that the reflections are something that some students take to like a duck to water. It's just so easy for them to do. But for many others, it's very difficult to do. And so the aim of this video is to ensure you understand what it actually is in the process that we're wanting you to engage with and how it actually is that we're assessing that process. If you understand these two things, then at least you can make sense of what you're being asked to do and the nature of the feedback that you're gonna be receiving. Entrepreneurship's an interesting subject. We can learn quite a lot about it. We can get books, we can talk to other people. But at some point, if we really wanna develop really strong understanding and even wisdom related to this field, we need to engage in it. So we typically talk about this challenge of learning about it, for it, and through it. In this unit, we're giving you an opportunity to do all three. You've already started with the environmental interaction framework, and you've been learning about entrepreneurship in terms of a set of theories which help you to view a particular idea space. And now we want you to actually engage with the problems that entrepreneurs have in some group dynamics, and want you to think about the development and opportunities to capture new value. And going through this process, you're have actually having an opportunity to learn for entrepreneurship, your future, and through it, through actually being engaged with real entrepreneurs who have an actual problem that they would like to share with you and get your uh, thinking uh, to be involved in it. So, <clears throat> As that process is happening, as you're going off and doing things, we also want you over here as an individual and thinking about your feelings, thinking about your experiences. And so while we've got this group challenge which takes you in this direction, we want you to come back to us with your individual personal reflections, which are linked to these experiences. Some of you will find this process very easy because maybe you've grown up in a very entrepreneurial house. Maybe you've already started thinking about creating new value somewhere else. Others of you may be quite lost in this process. The key thing is that you follow the process. Don't go looking for the answer. Don't ask yourself, what's Colin or Angela looking for in this space? Just ask yourself, What's the process that I'm supposed to be following? And how deep do I need to go into that process? <clears throat> so let's consider the nature of the process. You're gonna get a question, okay? So let me just put up here now the question that'll be the first one that you're gonna be focused on for the semester. And then that question will change a couple of times, all right? But you're gonna get this, what we call the primary question, right? Now, when we think about that question, we don't want you just to say, well, here's my answer. We want you to think about that question in relation to the process that you've been involved in. That could be preparing for the pretest. That could be engaging in the first workshop, discussing the nature of what happened in that first workshop, forming your group, starting the process <coughs> of thinking about your entrepreneur's problem. All of those things can become part of what we call the course materials, right? All of that experience, right? So we have a group of seven questions that we want you to work through. So um, <clears throat> let me just block myself out here now. And uh, so there's the seven questions that you need to address in order to answer the primary question, okay? So those questions are provided to you on Blackboard. And to answer fully this primary question, we need you to work your way methodically through each of the seven questions, from the first through to the seventh. It's just a short paragraph for each one. And when you answer each of the questions, you're gonna be answering them with reference to the primary question. So these seven supporting questions enable you to be able to go deeper into your consideration of the primary question. 
Now, if you look at the task uh, activity uh, advice that you've got on Blackboard, you'll see the rubric. And you'll see that in the rubric, there are three separate areas. The first area, which deals with <coughs> new discipline knowledge, captures the first three of these questions. Questions one, two, and three. The next area of rubric catch it, captures questions four, five, and six. And the last rubric is all about question seven, which is your ability to develop that metacognitive um, knowledge. Now, this is typically where people fall short of where they want to be. Everyone has an expectation. I want to do really well in this unit. I want to do well in this particular assessment task. So there's the depth that you actually go into when you're going through this process, right? So we're keen to see what you can do in that regard. But when you get to the end of it, I want you to step right back from what those six first, first six paragraphs in relation to this primary question and then ask yourself, what does this tell me about myself as a learner? My ability to engage with this process, to arrive at these outcomes in terms of what I'm suggesting as the knowledge. What does this tell me? Right? <clears throat> and so make sure you don't leave it short when you're thinking about this particular question, okay? Because it's so important for you to make sure that you cover off on your thinking about your thinking. The feedback that you'll get is typically going to tell you how deep that you've gone. Against the rubric, for each one of those seven questions, how deep did you go? Well, we want you to go as deep as you can, and you'll see that in the nature of the feedback that you get. So good luck, uh, and as always, if you're unsure about the process, just come and have a chat. We're always happy to have a chat. Good luck.